Hello YouTube, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today boys and girls, what I've got for you is actually something a little bit different today. We're going to be making the ultimate Minecraft modern starter home, or at least in my opinion. And we're going to include everything you need to start in survival, but for it to look awesome and uh, yeah, in the modern style. Um, I know there's a lot of like starter houses on YouTube, but I feel like I haven't ever done like a proper, like fully like functional survival house with an enchantment room, uh, an obsidian, like kind of never portal. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to be doing that today and hopefully you guys enjoy. So let's get straight into this. And the materials I've chosen just to start with are quartz, stone, obsidian, um, oak wood, uh, white stained glass, and some normal glass. Uh, of course, there'll be a lot more materials like chests, anvils, uh, enchantment tables, all of that stuff um, in a little bit. So we're going to start by placing ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six uh, blocks of oak wood. And we're going to take this out by around four. Um, and we're going to make a little front porch. Okay. And now this is what this is going to be. We're going to surround that in quartz um, like this on the uh front three sides so just leave the back side for now it doesn't really matter we're gonna break these three blocks just here and we are gonna place some quartz stairs okay one two three just like that we're gonna grab the white stained glass and we are just gonna basically make a little like barrier just so you don't fall off you know so you've got this kind of like front porch entrance to the house and uh i think that looks pretty nice so what we're gonna do now is come on and we're gonna place the quartz on this side now and we're going to work on a front little entrance. So I'm thinking maybe if we join this, so that connects. Okay, so one, two, three. Three is a pretty good height, honestly. Um, we could go four if we want to, but we're just going to leave it three for now. Um, and we're just going to bring that by two. Jump one block, which can be our front door. We can do an upside down stair just like that. And then what we can do is place ourselves a two here, which leaves a two block gap. And we can then place uh, six blocks of uh, panes just like that, giving you this little uh, kind of look. So let's go in and grab ourselves a birch door. Personally, I like birch doors the best. I don't know why. For some reason, I just think they look really nice in default for some reason. Yeah, it just looks nice. Right? I, I think so anyway. Um, and then on the top, we're just going to line that with quartz just so it connects to the windows. And we can actually bring this out by one. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. It kind of looks like a little cute um, like cottage, I guess. Uh, and then what we're going to do on top is place another row of quartz, giving us that nice like thick modern kind of shape to the front. Um, and now we're going to bring it along, okay? So we're going to bring this along by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're going to bring this all the way along the top. Delete that block there that I just accidentally placed. Giving you something a little like so. Okay, now we're going to add the never portal kind of area. And I think it's you can do them too wide. So that's what we're going to do, okay? You're going to break these two blocks just like this. And we're going to build it in line like that, okay? So we're going to jump one block back. Uh, and we can actually take this by two, I guess like this so it basically from this one is one block gap in between that and this uh, and then we're going to build our never portal so by the sides i think it has to be three up i don't play survival very much so i don't actually know hopefully that works and then what we can do is go and grab our flint and steel and see if that works perfect okay see i got it i got it i still got it um <laughs> and we're gonna take that all the way actually it looked pretty cool if that wasn't there hmm Okay, okay, got what we're going to do here. Let's see. We're going to place ourselves some quartz like this. And we're going to bring them over, okay? Leaving it like that. So, you're going to have two blocks there like this. Um, and we'll do exactly the same on this side, but fully with both two blocks like that. Giving you this look from the front, which actually looks pretty nice. I like that. I do like that indeed. So, what we're going to do is take this back here by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, actually, eight is perfect. We're going to change the weather to clear for one. You can't do it in capitals because for some reason Minecraft doesn't allow that. Um, for whatever reason. Two stairs. That is a door. Two stairs are just like that. So you can kind of like access it easily, I guess. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to bring this back now by one, two, three. Um, just to match that for now. And now what have we got? That's looking pretty cool, right? I think that is a, a quite a nice little design. So what we're going to do is take this wall back here, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to bring this at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, 9 blocks. And this wall can be completely taken back. And uh, we're going to have a little access point to that in a second. Uh, but don't worry, we'll carve that out in just a sec. Get all that done, like so. Okay, now what we're going to do is build one block up and take it all the way around and match it to this side. Okay, giving us this little look. And now what we can do is actually fill in all the tops of this, like so. And what do we want to do with that here? Um... I think we can just fill this up, honestly. Just completely fill it up. Like so. Okay, so now we've got this from this side. Um, and now what we can do is maybe take this back. So where does this come to? Um, bring this along. And just like this. Uh, and we're going to fill uh, the nether portal up from this side. So all this can be quartz, actually. 
because you don't want to see it from where I'm standing because this is going to be like a little farm area I'm pretty sure um so let's see if I just place that like this bring that up and maybe actually it'd look quite nice if there was just maybe like a window there that could look pretty cool right let's just take that up and see what it looks like with a window just a random like load of glass it doesn't have to be there from the front and then it kind of gives you that it doesn't change the look from the front it just kind of makes it look a little bit nicer more appealing from this side I like that, I like that. Even We could even actually go as far as placing two upside down quartz stairs. Just so it kind of like finishes it off. Then up here we could also do the same. And then leave that block like this. Or even place some more stairs like that. And it gives us this little look. Which I like. And then we could also do this. So you can access the nether portal um, from the farm little area. Which is cool. That is very, very cool. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do next? We want to put the farm in. Um, I'm going to do it with dark oak, I think. Um, and then we're going to get some dirt, of course. Where's the dirt at? We got it. Um, and then we're going to so jump down from here. And you're going to be able to place one. So from the corner, one diagonal. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I think five should be enough. We can always extend out. And we're just going to place a little area just like this. Perfect. Get all that done. Just like that. Okay, so you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this side. And then five wide. Delete all these blocks just like that. Delete the blocks under it. And of course, we're going to need like our little water source, you know. So, uh, how are we going to do this? I think we just place ourselves this. Like that. Delete the bottom. Place. Uh, it doesn't really matter because you're definitely not going to be able to see this. Um, because it's going to be covered up by dirt. But it kind of just gives it, I guess, something. A little something, something. Uh, get that down there. Place the dirt on top, which will be cool. Like so. You could even place water in the middle, actually. Just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Um, go and grab yourself a hoe. Some seeds. And, yeah. Get some place in. So, get all them done. Like that. And then we can just place the seeds in like this. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. That looks really, really nice. So, now what we're going to do is grab ourselves a chest. And we're going to place it around it somewhere. Let's see. Where do we want to do this? Maybe in the middle. That kind of looks cool. You could even place it down there. Nah. I think we'll go with that. That's a nice little design. Two blocks under that to kind of just raise it on something. Because then you can craft stuff if you wanted to make like bread and stuff with the wheat. You understand? Um, and then we could go in here and maybe place ourselves. I don't want to do this. Maybe if we do that with the stairs. And under there. Uh, place some quartz under like this. Just so it doesn't show through. And then the chest. Like that. So it's still openable and you can store like your seeds, your spare hose, and all of that good stuff in there like that. And I think that should work pretty well. Now I'm going to delete these blocks here because it's kind of annoying me that there's uh, not much space around there. So we're going to bring this out by two more. And then we're going to finally take this across. And join it like that. And then what we can do is actually... Uh, how do I want to go about doing that? Maybe grab ourselves um, some white... Yeah, I think some white glass. And then we'll bring it all the way down. Giving you this. Okay, so it kind of just acts as like a little flimsy support. It's a bit unrealistic, but it does look very, very nice nonetheless. Um, and now let's see. We could actually scrap that. We could actually place ourselves quartz just like this and then place some white stained glass next to it. Two of them. Like so. Giving it this little look. And we could also place another two like there. So it kind of like opens out into like another little section where we'll probably have the animals. Because you're probably going to want animals on your property if, uh, you know, you're kind of, you know got a big survival house going on um stone i'm pretty sure we should probably take away the grass and add stone around it all like this uh that can be stone as well take it all the way around all the way to there and now we're going to break through here because we're going to need a little entrance from the actual house itself um so i'm thinking we dig up and where's that going to be so that's going to be the floor we're going to need a little uh little drop down just like that and then you'll be able to get into the house just fine. Which is really, really nice. And uh, pretty convenient, actually. So, if we place stone under these as well. Like this. We're going to have a little area for the animals. So, I want to carry this back here. And how big is this? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, we could go a little bit bigger than that. But I don't think we'll need to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Was that just the middle gap? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. So, another block on the end. Like that. So, 8 in total. Bring it down like this and then we're just going to repeat that block there bring it up and then join them all all the way around and we're going to have this like, like QB look from the top so it'll be like in sections okay so this will be the farm this is going to like be i guess the animal part of the farm and then 
the enchantment room will be somewhere and we already have the uh you know never portal from the front which does look pretty sweet okay um so let's see oh i don't want to break the crops um <laughs> that'd be pretty pretty sucky okay let's see we are going to um we need fences actually to keep the animals in place um okay oak fence or birch fence that is the question i think we use oak purely because we used it on like the inside you know um and it's just gonna look better in total so let's see let's get rid of all this grass for a start okay delete all the way around place some stone we could actually place some diorite to texture mix it that could look pretty nice honestly um so we have stone all the way around like that we could then go ahead and place ourselves some um oh what you want to call it i cannot think for the life of me right now some diorite that's what i was going for some freaking diorite there it is we can actually place another layer of stone and maybe going all the way around like this so two layers of stone around the outside of this and then we're just going to place some dye right in the middle just to kind of mix it up uh, make it look a little bit more appealing on the ground as you can see it's, it's not much of a texture difference but you can definitely definitely notice it um so we're going to go in and grab our oak fences right now and probably some gates uh where are they at though there they are perfect um and we're just going to start marking some little animal pens so let's see let's jump two from there place one two three four five like that from this side one two three four five and we could probably get away with joining that to there. Um, bringing that, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And then separating them in the middle, I think. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And then we can have a gate on that side and a gate on this side. I place it just there, okay? Now, it's your like choice to what animals you put. You could put sheep, chicken. I'm just gonna put cows. Boom. And some pigs, pretty much, because they're the main two animals I associate with Minecraft for some reason. Not a zombie pig, and we do not when you spawn in those guys. Um, and then, of course, some pigs, just going down like that. Looking pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to jump two blocks there. So we have a two-block gap, place them there, and then we're going to have this going on. So, as you can see, it's looking pretty nice. We're going to have another two blocks just like this, so you can access your farm from the actual house. And then all of these can actually just be, I know it connects, which is kind of a little bit of a shame. But there's not really much we can do about it. There can be stone gun all the way around here, like on that side. Boom, boom. Perfect. So now what we've got from the top is that looking really, really nice and all sectioned off. And uh, now we can continue the house back so it joins to there. Okay, so let's take this back by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, ooh, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I'm going to take it 14 blocks back and bring it all the way over here and connect it to the end just like so so from the front it's now going to be a lot lot bigger than it originally was we can take this back by one two three four five six seven perfect that lines up just as uh, we wanted it to and how do we want to go about making this look a little bit kind of different hmm i'm just trying to think here we can actually just make this one big window so if we take this up by two blocks all the way to the top take this along joining it to there we should be pretty good and we could actually make this just one big window to let a load of light in uh, we can make it a little bit smaller maybe maybe like that so it's four blocks two on that side one block next to the uh glass like that fill all the way up like so and it gives you this i think that looks pretty nice honestly we could put a little tree out front later on let's just mark it just so we uh can kind of remember maybe there that looks better um okay let's see what i want to do on this side i'm probably just gonna have a lot of trees on this side because hey why the hell not um yeah let's just take this shape back because personally it's just nice it's a nice basic uh chunky shape like that my voice keeps going weird i keep getting like a cough but it's not really a cough it just kind of sounds like one um it's a little bit weird take this back all the way down on the end by two so it comes out one on this side um and then how do you want to do that maybe take this by two like this okay jump one two three four place another two one, two, three, four. Place another two. That should be actually, we kind of would want to do it there, actually. Let's see. Let's mark that out as a chunky one. And then we'll see what we've got. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And we can do two and one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, so that is actually evenly spaced out. Take that up like this. So on the back end, we've got this like kind of different shape to the front, which is very, very nice. So I'm thinking, 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 we need to add the floor in. Um, and I'll probably do that off camera because you know, we don't want to take too long on doing this So I'll be right back I'm just gonna place the floor in and I will see you in just a second 
Okay, so the floor is in place. Just simple oak wood will do the trick. You can use a different material if you want. And birch, spruce, whatever floats your boat. Um, but I'm just using that because personally, I think it looks uh, just, you know, it goes with the porch and all of that stuff. And the fences, of course, there. Um, here, we're going to place some upside down stairs. Okay. And these are going to be like some nice big kind of windows to let a lot of light in from the back end of the house. Um, so let's just get those placed in right now. Like this. Okay. We should be good on that side of things. Boom, boom. Boom. Oh, I'm placing these all over the place. This is not freaking good. Um, and I really, really need a drink for some reason. Like, my bro, it just feels so dry at the moment. And I have no idea why. Like, I've been drinking a lot, but unfortunately, it ain't it ain't playing out um well in my uh, kind of books here. That looks cool. Honestly, that back end of the house, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, so we need to mark out an enchanting room. That is, is another thing. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna use this back section here just to do that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is count back. Let's see, one, two, three four five and six and maybe place a block there um actually we could do five no let's line it up with that there so it just you know lines up and looks good and stuff um and then what we can do is fill in a little bit there and bring this up here okay so we've got this on this side and then this in here bring this up and kind of cube it off just so we kind of know where the room's gonna go you know wait where is that is that here perfect like that and let's just mark out an enchanting area i don't really know how these go or how these work so don't judge me all you survival players are going to sit there and go dude you did it wrong um but i i don't know like i really don't um i don't play survival so i think you have to have one of these oh okay we'll grab an ender chest just because we can let's change the weather to clear once again we're just going to grab an anvil because you know once you've enchanted stuff you can combine all of that good crap um this can go all the way like this perfect um, and then we can have some uh, windows in here also, which will look pretty, pretty cool. Let's use some upside down stairs facing this way. Just kind of give it a bit of depth from the inside. Perfect. And then what do we want to do? We kind of want, okay, like the books to kind of surround the enchanting table. I'm pretty sure that's how they work. So if we do that, that can be the middle block of enchanting. And then we just do this. I think that's how they work. Should we build it into the floor? That could look pretty cool. So surround the blocks. Just you kind of have this. So two away, but there's the bookshelves one block away. Um, and the enchantment table can go in the center like uh, this, maybe. Let's surround that with another material just to kind of spice things up a bit. We could just use quartz, to be honest. Boom, like that. And then we can also place some more bookshelves. And I'm pretty sure that should give you a pretty nice enchant. I think it might have to be three up, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to do two. Um, if it does need to be three, of course, place three. Um, you know, common sense and all that. Uh, let's grab ourselves some white stained glass and take this up to the roof, okay? On each corner, like this. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And then what we've got is this kind of like, it just kind of looks like the bookshelves are kind of like hanging from the ceiling, which I do like. And then, of course, you can get down there. Um, we should probably make it so that you can get down with some slabs, maybe. Some slabs look cool. So it kind of just lowers into the enchanting area, which looks actually pretty nice. And uh, then, of course, we can add ourselves... Some quartz to kind of like allow the uh, enchantment table to connect, which of course we're going to need. So do that. And then what we can do is actually just make this a skylight along here. Just to kind of give it a bit of a bit of a new kind of feature to the house. A little skylight ain't going to hurt anyone. Like that. Perfect. And then that's our enchantment room done. Um, and we can also add some glass on this side. I don't know if I want to do that. Honestly, we might just make this quartz here like this. And then on this side, we're going to place some white stained glass, okay? Just kind of make it a little bit different. Because from this side, there's going to be trees. You're not really going to see much. And from this side here, it just kind of looks a bit cleaner, I think. I personally like it a lot more. And I want to replace the ones above the blocks with that. Just like that. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot cleaner. Holy moly. Very, very nice. Okay, so now we want to grab ourselves our anvils and maybe place some as well around here. Can we delete that block? We cannot. Um, Where do we want to place the anvil? I'm thinking somewhere, let's do something here with the anvil, okay? We're going to place ourselves two quartz blocks, two anvils, just to make it look a bit cooler. Um, and then maybe two blocks like that. That kind of looks cool, right? I think. Tell me tell me in the comments if like there's anything you don't like about this house, but I'm pretty sure I like that. So hopefully you guys will too. Um, take this along, connect to that. That looks nice. Um, and then what we can do is bring maybe this out and join that. We could put another huge skylight there. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to put glass all the way around here, um, matching the same kind of, uh, like, length as this. Just kind of brighten the place up. It's going to look so, so nice from the inside with a lot of light. 
Um, and that's kind of like the way I see it. So perfect. I think that looks really, really nice. We're also going to make a little crafting area just here. Um, actually, that does not go symmetrical. Ew. Uh, see, I'm thinking the food is there, so we probably want like a little area to smelt and stuff. So I'm thinking. Okay, we go in and grab furnaces and craft table. Okay. Um, and then we bring this along by two blocks. Place three blocks there. And we're going to place little end... Uh, no, not end rods. They're furnaces. Little furnaces like that. Some pressure plates on top just for, like, effect, I guess. And you can still access them to put the food in, of course. Um, and then chests. I don't know about them. But we could also put a crafting table on the end here. And then we could actually go in and grab some white carpet, maybe. And place them along there and along there to kind of just blend it in i guess um and then chest wise we're gonna need maybe like a little chest area anyway so i'm thinking we maybe just like leave that as it is i put the chest room maybe here because we're gonna need a bed as well because you're gonna need to sleep and stuff uh, an end chest as well that's probably quite a good thing to have uh can that go anywhere around i don't really want to like overcrowd things if you understand what i'm trying to say um the end chest could actually go there honestly just in the ground it looks pretty nice as well. So I'm thinking we bring this down like that. That up like this. You just kind of have a little space for your end chest. Which does look pretty nice. Okay. Let's delete that. We're good. Okay. So moving on to the next thing. What I want to do is kind of work on a little bedroom area. Which I'm going to make here I think. And then we're going to have some chests. Okay. So let's count away. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And on the six, on the seventh block actually. We're going to place uh, a little, little pillar like that. Uh, there can be another one there, just kind of match it, which looks nice. Um, and then, of course, we're going to bring this along. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, join it to there. And then, we're going to bring it along. And in the center, or for this block here, so three blocks there, three blocks there. Bring it up to the top. Two blocks above, we're going to place ourselves that. And then, on the back of that, we're going to place ourselves a door. Okay, and this is going to be the entrance to our bedroom. Um, just kind of make it a little bit more private and personal. We're just going to add a door. Just so, you know, it's not, like, open layout everywhere. Because I feel like that would look a bit stupid. Um, so, you've got the bedroom inside here. And then we can put this there. Focus on filling all this up, actually. Like this. We also want to fill this up. Because this is the bedroom. Um, so, that'll look all good. We're going to add a little decorations as well. You know, just things that don't really need to be there in survival. Um, but just kind of make it look a lot nicer. And we'll impress people on, like, SMPs and stuff. Anyhow's. Uh, we need to place that there. Okay. So, bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. I want to place a glass block above there for some reason. Just because I feel like it looks nice. Bedroom. Right, let's focus. Uh, let's place another quartz pillar like that. Just to make it look the same. The same, you know. Take this out there as well. We can do that. Um, then we're going to place all of this as windows, I think. What is that there? Okay, let's see. Do we want to do windows? I'm thinking, yeah. Okay, fuck it. We're going to do it. Just to see what it looks like. Uh, window, window, window. And then we're going to need our bed. Okay. Where is that at? Okay, let's see. We're going to want to make it quite nice looking. Because these beds look pretty crappy in Minecraft, in my opinion. Um, uh, of course, if you're in a texture pack, they're going to look a lot nicer. Maybe if we just put quartz around it. I feel like that's just the best way to make it look a little bit nicer. We could actually place some snow layers there. Hopefully, they don't melt on you. Um... Yeah, that would suck. Uh, that looks cool, actually. That does look cool. And if we then place ourselves... Oh, that's going to do that. Fudge. It's all cool. We'll leave it like that. It does look pretty nice. Anyhow, uh, we can place ourselves some iron trapdoors just at the side to kind of represent little, um, I guess, bedside tables and such. Could we actually do this? If this works, it's going to look pretty cool. Um, we place a quartz or a block of whatever there. A kind of skeleton skull on the back. And then we place an emerald there. And that gives you these little bedside lamps. That is very nice. I'm really happy we can do that on top of the iron trapdoors. Shift. Boom. Perfect. Little bedroom design. We don't need a light in the ceiling because they produce the lights. Uh, I'm thinking we're probably going to need some chests and stuff in here. And an armor stand. Almost forgot about those. That would not be cool. Um, we could put some diamond armor on it. Just to show. Just to show. Um, boom. Like that. Uh, let's whack all that on. Like so. Pretty geared out, honestly. And then on this side, or here, we could just place ourselves some chests, I think. Going up like this from here. And we can open all of them. That's pretty cool. Um, we could even just kind of section them off there, like that. Oh, you wouldn't be able to open that, though. Like that. That's nice. This kind of acts as a little, like, wardrobe, I guess. 
That is a pretty cool bedroom. I mean, you can't really get much better than that, like, for what we're doing here. It's just a simple, but kind of, like, awesome, like, everything is here for a survival house. Um, okay. Now, I'm thinking we need a brewing stand. They're very important for survival, I guess, if you're into making potions and all of that good stuff. So, if we go in and grab the brewing stand, we could probably just place that along here, to be honest. Just there, next to the anvils. That works. That works. Um, now, here's going to be our chest room. So, if we grab the white stained glass, just to, just to get that done. Boom, perfect like that. Oh, missed it. Uh, chests and a crafting table, of course. So we're going to place ourselves just chests all along here, I think, until the top one. Um, and then we can do, I think, a row of one there. Actually, no, that's going to that's gonna look pretty crappy. Row two there, like this. Take it all the way along with some stairs. And then here, we're just going to chunk that up like that. Okay, so that is what we've got. In the middle, we're going to place some crafting tables just like that. Just kind of make it look a little bit nicer. We could actually, if we count there, that'll be two blocks and two blocks. We put another pillar there, just kind of separate the enchant room a little bit more. And then you've got yourself this. We could honestly even place some white stained glass. Just so the kind of chest room is completely separated. You can kind of still see everything and it kind of has that open plan look, which I really like about this house. That is nice and I'm pretty sure that's all we need to do. This place is looking sweet. Um, I'm just going to basically fill in all of this roof now. Uh, we could even go as far as making another sunroof. Should we line it up with that one there? So all of this could be glass right now. It really could. And it will look good anyway. So I'm thinking we do that. Bring it along. And we should have something looking pretty special about here. Okay, so from the front we've got this. Okay, pretty simple. Looks like your standard modern house. Yet does everyone know, everything you need for a modern house or a survival start house is here chilling. This is looking nice. So I'm thinking in here we maybe just have some random crap. Uh, some like chair designs and stuff like that. Uh, where do we want to do that though? I'm thinking. If I miss anything out, by the way, in a survival house, just just tell me. I'll, I'll let you guys roast me in the comment section for that. But I don't think I have for the minute. How do we do this here? I want to add some chairs and stuff. Really, that's all I want to go about doing right now. Um, so we go and grab our sandstone. Our stairs. No, our sign, sorry. And we just add a little chair here, maybe? That'll look nice. A little random chair going on. Um, we could also add ourselves a little table and chairs in the middle of here. One could be, like, I guess, pulled out if you were uh, role-playing it. Uh, let's see. Grab ourselves a dark grey. Block in the middle there. Grey carpet like that. These represent chairs, which look pretty nice. Um, so it's kind of like a kitchen area, I guess. Um, and then in here, we could place... Can we delete that block? We cannot. So don't go doing that. Um, <laughs> we could place another one of those like lamp designs, actually. If we grab the end rods and we go grab ourselves the skeleton skulls, we could place just a random lamp. Uh, we'll place it two blocks up. Place a block there, facing the wall. That up like this. As you come in, you've got this little look going on. And then we could place one more thing here. But I don't know what just yet. We're going to change the weather to clear and... I'm baffled. I don't know what to put here. Honestly, I really, really don't. So maybe if we just put like a plant feature or something. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go with the old plant. I know it's basic, but hey, plants look nice, surely. Um, okay, we're going to grab ourselves a cauldron. Because hey, you might need a cauldron. I don't know what you. I don't even know what they're used for, honestly, in Minecraft. I, I have no clue. That's how much of a noob I am. But what we can do is place one like that, fill it with water, and then place two little trees like that. And this place is looking really, really awesome. So the last thing we need to do is actually add some trees. And we will be all good and set to go. Okay, so final touches are going to be made now. We're going to go in and grab ourselves some bone mill. Where's that at? Perfect. Um, and some oak saplings. And we're going to go into this side of the house, okay? And um, we're pretty much just going to spread them randomly. Uh, about four or five blocks away. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but we're going to get that going. And we're just going to start placing them... Uh, randomly, I guess. A little bit randomly. Not too random, though. Just delete that for some reason. Give us trees. Thank you all. Okay, perfect. That one going. Please don't a random big one appear, because I'm not down for that. I think that's too close, isn't it, to that one? Oh, no. We got a tree gun. And another one. Perfect. So, from this side, we just got that gun. It just kind of adds to the side. I mean, I know they're boring looking. Um, and then what we can do is go in with our, like, bone mill as well. And just kind of, like, spice it up a little bit. On the sides, um, just giving us this, like, I guess, complete look to one of the sides of the house. On the back, you could add, like, a swimming pool if you were doing this as, like, a... How do I say this? Like, also, like, a house for looks, I guess? Um, but I'm doing this just for survival, okay? So, this is just for survival purposes only. Um, 
And on this side, that doesn't look too complete now, does it? Uh, maybe if we bring this part back. One, two, three, four, five. And honestly, we just bring it back for no reason, apart from the fact that it could actually, it just kind of looks cool. Yeah, I like that personally. And we could honestly raise this over by one on this side as well. Just like that. Just kind of get a little bit of shape and then it could finish down on this side like that. That's kind of cool now. We could even add like that little part there. So you've got this on that side. Yeah, and it just kind of like improves all the shapes and stuff. So I'm kind of down for that. Uh, we could even... Nah, do we want to do that? How's that going to look though if we do do it? Uh, like that. And then we could... Actually, we're going to keep it like that. That's a pretty cool little looking thing. And then we're going to go to the front of the house. And we're going to place a little tree, like I said, there. So we're going to go grab our birch wood. And we're going to go up and grab our spruce wood and our birch leaves. Okay. We're going to place it just around here, I guess. So not in the floor, just one above. I'm going to place a quartz block. One, two, three, and four. It could even be three, actually, honestly. And then we're just going to place one, two, three, four up. And then we're just going to place birch leaves around it, like this. And then we're going to texture mix it. So I'm going to place the bottom birch. Random spruce leaves as well. Just kind of give it that little like, extra texturing like this and we should be good to go see it just looks nice it just adds to the house and it just kind of looks pretty cool so i'm thinking we go in and we replace that with a cauldron okay the under kind of part of the tree cauldron water just kind of looks a bit cooler um and then we could also go in and maybe surround it with some iron fence i guess yeah see it just kind of adds to it um and then on this side we could probably just get away with scattering some grass Maybe if we bone mill it, though, that could look a bit crap. Um, let's see. Just round and place some grass. Let's just see what it looks like, honestly. Bit of grass, few little plants and such all over the place. Like this. Add a little bit more grass everywhere. Fern, fern. Fern, fern. Fern. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Perfect. I'm pretty happy with this, honestly. That looks really, really nice. And I don't think we need to add any more. So, from the front, let's go check. We've got everything. Never portal, of course. You can access the never from that part. You walk in. You've got this little area just for decoration, really. And here, you've got your bedroom. You know, armor stand. You could add more, of course. Um, and some chests. Around here, you've got your actual chest room. So, a load more chests. Um, it's a little bit more, like, I guess, secluded from the rest of the house. Pretty private and personal. And then, of course, some crafting tables as well. Going to need them. A little dining room table just for decoration. Um, and here, enchants. Pretty essential um, if you're playing survival. All of your stuff, anvils, bruin stand, furnace, and then uh, another crafting table. End chest just in here. A little bit, uh, I guess, secluded. Oh, that needs to be a quartz. Perfect. Down here, you've got your animals. You could also add more chickens. You could actually extend this, like, kind of cube look outwards. That would look nice as well. And then to this side, you've got your little farm area where you can grow some crops and do all of that. But that is it, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this. This nice little ultimate survival modern kind of house. Don't know why I did this. I was just thinking, you know what? I have never actually done one suitable for complete survival. So here it is. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, smack the like button. Subscribe for more content just like this video you've just watched. I love you all so much. Stay creative, stay positive, and I'll see you in my next Minecraft video. Bye, guys.